Guys, my name, my, my name is Marek and I'm a, a member of Polish uh, developers group uh, run by Adam. I also run a company called Code Effective and what we do is uh, mobile applications and mobile optimized uh, websites. Okay? Rather than having presentation as per se, I want to give you a quick tip, something actionable that you can take away today if you're interested in mobile applications and, and so on and so on, I will show you the technique that I'm personally using to boost sales downloads of uh, mobile applications. I will concentrate on the Apple App Store and uh, I will show you something that I'm doing, the way I'm doing it, tools I'm using and also <coughs> at the end of the presentation I'm happy to share with you my tool if you find it useful. Okay. For whatever reason, we develop mobile application. I mean, whether it is for revenue, for money, for glory, for someone else, we do care about downloads. Okay? Without the downloads, we don't have money. Without the downloads, people don't know about our application. It doesn't count. It is like a product that we have in a pocket. No one knows about it. And there are several components that builds successful mobile applications. Starting with the absolutely brilliant idea, something unique, which is often very difficult to achieve, proper development, okay? And most of the people think that is enough. Now my application will start selling or people will download it. But this is not true. There is also the sales that goes afterwards, marketing, user support, a bit of luck, okay? On the red, I put the idea and execution, and this is really the development process. From the, our design, from something that grown in our mind to actual application that is already on a, uh, on a mobile phone, ready to upload to the App Store. But the biggest struggle is actually marketing and sales. If people don't know about the applications, they're not going to download it. This is our application in the a, in a App Store amongst millions of other applications and it is only one to boost our downloads there are several elements that can help us okay we can be featured by Apple personally I wouldn't count on this one they have their own rules what applications get featured what not I wouldn't count on this bit of luck Google search very powerful typical traditional search in the Google using the browser. Word of mouth, you tell the friends, social media, you share the knowledge. Influencers, things like you know, the, the blogs, technology, media, press releases, and so on and so on. But I will talk to you about the generic search on the App Store. When you fire up the App Store application on, on the phone, you start searching for something. So the users do. The problem is that people don't know about your application. They don't know what it's called. They don't know what is it doing, what is the functionality, where to find it. It is like something that they don't know. Most probably, if they search by some function, okay, there will be already tens if not hundreds other applications in front of you. Your application is new. There are other applications that have got the ratings and so on and so on. And what I want to show you is the techniques that I'm using to boost probability of application being seen. Something that helped my applications to boost downloads by over 200% within a week. Just by modifying the title, keywords and so on and so on. We concentrate on something that is catchy, easy to remember <coughs> as an application title. This is something that people, when they search, they see in the ver very first screen. We also <coughs> need to take care of the keywords, okay? Keywords need to be relevant to what our application is doing, what functionality it offers, or how we want to actually uh, portray the application, okay? Additionally, screenshots, videos, category, but we only concentrate on the first two today. I just want to be very quick. We use several tools, but the ones I'm showing you are free, are accurate. Everyone can use it. Very easy to use, okay? Keyword Planner, which is part of Google AdWords. You can create your free account and start using it immediately. 
Sensor Tower is like a, a Google search for the App Store. Thesaurus, if you struggle with finding the uh, synonyms for the names, for the keywords, and so on and so on. Okay. As I said, free to use, they give you also relevant suggestions. They allow you to group the keywords by category. And uh, in case of Sensor Tower, I'll show you a couple other things. If we look at the keyword planner, okay, this is the actual extract <coughs> from the application we're developing uh, uh, around the recruitment. Okay. By typing different types of keywords, we can see easily which keywords have got the average monthly searches and what is the competition, whether it's high, low. Once we download it, it will give us ac actual figures, but this is enough. And then using the, the keywords, to populate my tool, which then will help me to analyze what I want to use as my title and the keywords later on. Okay? What we're aiming at, the highest traffic that we possibly can get, more people searches, higher chances that applications get discovered, possibly <coughs> low competition. Okay? There is an example here, which is career and careers. This is a singular versus plural version of the particular keyword they might have different weightings and you might choose one over the another. Okay. We're looking using the keyword planner for general keywords, okay, things like one word uh, uh, um, phrases that describe functionality of our application, okay, or long tail keywords, something more human friendly, something that people usually type in a search criteria. Okay. And a second tool is a sensor tower. This is my favorite one, absolutely brilliant tool uh, I highly recommend for anyone who is operating within a mobile applications uh, area. It gives you tons of different options. It is free to use with some limitations. Paid version, I mean, uh, uh, things like um, when you're looking up for the keywords, it only allows you to look up one at the time, where the paid versions allow you to sort of like drop, let's say, 100 keywords, and that does the, the whole breakdown. But even with the free version, if you collect the list of, let's say, 30, 40 keywords and you want to look up each of them for the um, traffic competition difficulty, this is absolutely brilliant. Okay. It also allows you to hijack your competitors. If there is an application that does pretty much the same, similar uh, um, offering that your application, you can see what keywords are your competitors using even over the time, how they modify, how they change it, depending on the uh, actual number of downloads, okay? So what we're looking, traffic. That's one element. Second one is difficulty. So how many other applications are competing with our application uh, when searching for the same keyword? There is a third one I'm also using, which is the actual number of applications in the App Store. Okay. I will quickly go and show you a couple of the keywords I have used. I have specifically dropped number of them that they are of uh, low importance. I haven't used them. Okay? One of them is an interview. Okay? If we look at the traffic, it's 5.2. Okay? It is quite high-ish on our scale, which is good for us. Okay? iPhone difficulty, how many competitors are using the particular keyword interview, is 3.4, somewhere in the middle, okay? Fair enough, but then again, there is over 1,000 applications already. There is very low chance that we will get to the top, at least using only the optimization techniques, okay? <coughs> so that's one. The second one, I've tried with the resume, okay? I, I know it's very American type of thing, but hey, the US is the biggest market. Be honest, okay. Similarly, 5.9, I mean, the scale is up to six, okay. I, I recently started seeing the applications that go above six, but anything below two, two, uh, between two and four is sort of like mid, above four I is good for us, okay. Again, high traffic, quite fair, Difficulty on a higher side, okay? But then again, only 392 applications. It is nothing if we compare millions of other apps. 300 is nothing. Here's another really nice example. 
quite high traffic, 4.3, but zero in terms of the difficulty. Okay, that means only very marginal number of applications are using the keyword recruitment in the name, title, or, 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 or keywords itself. It is something that Sensor Tower doesn't even think it is worth to put. Probably the fraction is below uh, uh, second place after the after the comma. Okay, I like this keyword. I'm going to use it. Okay, high traffic, low difficulty, about 400 applications. Absolutely, I'm happy with this. Okay, another one which is advisor. Okay, if we look <coughs> again, I'm only showing examples of the high traffic, quite low difficulty. What might be scary is over thousand applications already in the App Store, but then by looking at the App Store, uh, uh, I mean obviously there is a cut down version, but that shows sort of like you know the first 30. Okay, I've checked that there are trip advisors, hotel advisors, and something. I'm doing application for the recruitment. They are not direct competitors. I don't care about those ones. I'm happy that there is over a thousand of them. <coughs> okay. This is actually the tool I was talking about. It is a spreadsheet. I have created a spreadsheet where I put all the relevant information in the, in the columns and row for every single keyword that I believe is relevant for my application. Okay. I done some conditional formatting that does the highlighting for me, okay? Then by identifying the keywords I want to use, I specify which keywords I'm gonna use to build actual title of the application, which keywords I'm going to use as a keyword field for the App Store. Bear in mind there is a, a, a limit, so we need to choose wisely. We don't replicate the same words in a title and a keyword because that's a waste of space. We're limited to 100 characters, and that includes commas, spaces, and so on and so on. <coughs> By looking at those ones, this is the name of the application I come up with. Recruitment advisor, interview answers, and resume examples. And this is quite fine. Okay? Apple will accept this name. That's pretty much it. If everyone is interested in a tool, I'm happy to discuss after the lunch. I'm starving now. Thank you very much. <laughs>